Yes, um, I'd just like to comment on the case of Harry Nicolades. This video is in support of Harry Nicolades, who is currently in prison in Bangkok, and for his um, family members who are concerned, and also for from those of us who know Harry and have known him for a number of years. And um, I'll discuss what we know so far and bring you up to date, but this is also to the King and Queen of Thailand and to the Crown Prince to consider carefully Harry Nicolaid's case, an Australian who has spent many years in Thailand teaching English to Thai people. Uh, first off, I'd like to say that Harry uh, wrote a book in 2005 called Very Similitude, and uh, he told me about that book, and he also uh, gave copies of that book to the Thai government and asked them if it was uh, acceptable. In that book on page 115, if you can find a copy on the net or wherever, uh, there is a quote about a rumor uh, uh, about the Crown Prince. And we'd like to be very specific in saying that um, Harry did not make up this rumor and he did not uh, promote something on his own. He just quoted the rumor that was uh, floating in Thailand, uh, and that was what was put in the book. And uh, if the Thai government didn't like that that was in the book, when Harry asked for them to look at the book and approve of it, they should have commented on it at that time, and he could have struck it from the record. Uh, and so Harry was leaving Thailand in September of 2008 and he was stopped at the airport and told that in March of 2008 there had been an arrest warrant issued for him in the case of Les Majest, uh, an insult against the royalty of Thailand. We are asking the Thai royalty, uh, we are asking the Thai government, we are asking the Australian government to do their part to pardon and release Harry Nicolades. And we are also asking the journalism public to pressure the Thai government and the Thai royalty to do what is right and release Harry. Now, Harry's been in prison since September 2008. He went on the 19th of January 2009 to court after having been repeatedly refused bail. And he was sentenced to three years in prison for insulting the monarchy. And uh, we think that the monarchy could spend their time uh, taking uh, care to people who are in Thailand who do real damage to the country, uh, to the many people in Thailand who abuse the uh, hospitality of the Thais and take advantage of Thai people and take advantage of hill tribe people. And uh, we think that there's a lot more oversight needed, and we don't think that Harry Nicolades is a person who, having written a quote, having written a paragraph about a rumor in Thailand, should be at the top of that list. So we're asking the Australian government to do more. We really think they haven't done much at all to protect uh, freedom of speech, which is an international human right. Uh, in the case of uh, Harry Nicolades, uh, we really don't think that they have uh, championed his case uh, that would be considered ridiculous if it was in Australia or the United States or other Western countries and in most other third world countries. Um, we also think that uh, the Thai Navy has recently hauled out Rohingya refugees to sea and allowed them to drown and die of thirst and starvation in the hundreds and uh, we think this is more of a crime and it's an immense crime and we think it's offensive that the U.S. government would continue to go ahead with Cobra Gold exercises with Thailand when they behave in this fashion. So let's just compare those two events. Harry Nicolades writes a paragraph in a book, he goes to prison. The Thai Navy hauls Rohingya refugees out to sea and they die in the hundreds. Nothing's done about it. And so. Uh, we know that family in uh, Europe is concerned about Harry. Um, Harry's been a friend to the Aka people. Harry's been a friend of mine for a number of years. Uh, 
and we just are here to come to his defense and ask for his immediate release. And we're also asking that the law less majest, which can be brought by anybody in Thailand against another individual, we ask that that law be overturned, that the king of Thailand do the right thing and that he put an end to this draconian law uh, and that he claim responsibility for the fact that it exists in the first place. And we'd like to see it turned over um, and we'd like to see freedom of speech protected in Thailand for Thai people and for people visiting Thailand. And it's a very basic human right and we think it's time that the Thai government uh, followed the norms, the patterns in the world to let people say what they want and in increase the amount of transparency by letting people uh, compete with ideas. And for Harry, we hope that you're released soon and we hope that the government and monarchy of Thailand will do the right thing and see to that immediately. Thank you.